Grand Rising Soul Siblings, welcome back. <clears throat> so, you know, whew, it's been a day. <laughs> so I had to recuperate from traveling. Um, but I woke up and, you know, it was something that was just on my mind when I went to bed. I felt like I would dream about it. <laughs> and then I woke up, you know, um, you know, um, and I, you know, I, I was just compelled to find out what it is. <laughs> I was just asking, what is it that, you know, uh, that the father wanted me to uh, speak, you know, um, when it comes to whatever has been going on, whatever has been plaguing my thoughts, you know, um, you know, because again, even though it's not in a religious manner, you know, at the end of the day, my my hope is to do the will of the father by following and seeking you know um the son right um wa by walking with the son so um you know so i just want to go ahead um and read a little something from Uh, the book of Isaiah <clears throat> and it's spelled differently it's spelled I-S-A-I-A -A in this particular Bible um, but I can't find my antique Bible it's not almost like it's gone <laughs> and my daughter said what if somebody took it so that you couldn't get the proper word <laughs> but you know I just I haven't seen it and I really wanted to read from that one but we'll just use this one here um and I'm thinking this is maybe Ezekiah, but in this book is spelled E Z E C H I A, like uh, Shia or Shia, um, because um, or Chia, you know, like the the seeds or whatever. But anyways, let's let's go ahead and read from it. So it says, then Isaiah the we're gonna start at thirty nine and three, and it says, then Isaiah the prophet came to King as a Shia or Ezekiah, Shia, we'll say Shia or Chia, Shia, because that's what, it's like Shia seeds or whatever. That's what it says here. <clears throat> and asked him, what did they come from? No, I'm sorry. And asked him, what did these men say to you? Where did they come from? As a Shia answered, they came to me from a distant land, from Babylon. What did they see in your house? He asked. As a Shia <laughs> replied, uh, they saw everything in my house. There is nothing in my storerooms that I did not show them. Um, then Isaiah said to as a Shia, hear the word of the Lord of hosts. So this is the word of the Lord of hosts. Behold, the day shall come when all that is in your house and everything that your fathers have stored up until this day shall be carried off to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, says the Lord. Some of your own bodily descendants shall be taken and made servants in the place of the king of Babylon. As a Shia replied to Isaiah, the word of the Lord which you have spoken is favorable. For he thought there will be peace, peace and security in my lifetime. So I'm guessing, you know, this is just what he, he, where he thought that, you know, finally there will be some peace or, or he thought that there would be peace and serenity, um, in, in his lifetime. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and move on, um, to, it's called here, the book of consolation. Um, and it says here, um, the Lord's glory in Israel's liberation. So it says, comfort, give <clears throat> comfort, give comfort to my people. Say your God, speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is ex expated. Indeed. She has received from the hand of the Lord double for her sins. You know, so it's kind of like tying back into what we were reading, you know, yesterday, kind of. You know, I 
I, I feel that way. Sometimes the, you know, it's just, I'm saying the word, but again, sometimes, you know, I'm not fully until I actually marinate on it. <laughs> what exactly we're trying to say here. Right. So, um, making, I mean, I can understand what we're saying right here, but I'm just saying to compare it to what was yesterday, uh, what we talked about, uh, in the past video. So it says, has received uh, from the hand of the Lord double for her sins. A voice cries out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight the wasteland, a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. The rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all mankind shall see it together for the month of the Lord has, I'm um, sorry, apologies. Um, the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. I answered, what shall I cry out? All mankind, all mankind is grass and all their glory like flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower wilts. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Okay. So again, it's kind of almost like speaking things into existence. You know, um, you know, um, when when things are brought to the face of the Lord, and once the Lord speaks, or the Lordess speaks these things, you know. It's almost like thy will be done, you know, um, you know, and that, I don't know. That's just what I'm getting right now. Again, it's, it's late at night, but I kind of had, I was so tired. I, I couldn't keep my eyes open. So I kind of fell asleep, um, maybe jet lag, I, you know, and I didn't sleep last night either. So, um, so I'm now waking up in the middle of the night <laughs> to do this. So, um, so anyhow, it says the grass withers, the flowers wilt uh, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. So then the people of the grass, uh, the people is the grass. Yeah. Though the grass withers and the flowers wilt, the word of our Lord stands forever. And see, this, this is like, um. You know, it's, it's reminding me of man and their uh, laws and then the laws of nature. See, you know, it, it's just the right people, <laughs> you know, the right people are on the plane right now to start speaking, seeing these things, waking up and speaking these things into existence. And a lot of people just don't know how powerful that they are. Um, but again, to leave the word behind. I, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. it it's, it's a living word to me. And it helps me see in in depth or in different ways, you know. Um, so again, all the traditions and all that, you know, I don't do that. I don't do the religious aspect. The word, in the beginning was the word. It's the word <laughs> is what I deal with, you know. Um, and again, if... Uh, it's also reminding me of the first shall be last, you know, um, in a sense where um, those of old, because right above here, we were just talking about, you know, that the some people from a far place or something like that. And I think there's going to be making mention of more things in here, Syria, possibly. I'm not, I can't remember um, until we run across it. But, you know, it's just very interesting. It's very interesting, you know, and it, there's so many layers and it's so full and it's just so, I don't know, it's something about the word. So that's just what it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so let's keep going. Okay. And again, blows upon them. And now this is reminding me, you know, I, I ain't trying to have y'all all up in my business. Um, I'll try to insert the image 